Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do section 5, SAT math, math level 2 preparation. And section 5 is solving polynomial inequalities. you got two points that will go into your notebook. Six points into your class worksheet. Name, date, period, students in my classroom. Due date is on for uh, put uh, onlineers, homeschoolers, put your due date here. And we go right in to our first notebook entry here. To solve polynomial inequalities, transform the inequalities so that one side is a zero, then solve the corresponding equation. Because of the continuity of polynomials, these solutions are the only points where the sign of the polynomial can change. Graphically, if p of x is a polynomial, the solutions to p of x equals zero are the x-intercepts of the graph. If the graph actually crosses the x-axis, then the graph either goes from, the, from above the x-axis to below it, or vice versa. In which case, the sign of y equals p of x changes from positive to negative or negative to positive. It is also possible for the graph to just kiss the x-axis from either above or below. Recall that this occurs when the multiplicity of the zero is even. These are the cases where the sign of p of x does not change at a point where p of x equals zero. So let's get into an example of that. Uh, A, solve the inequality here, x minus one, x plus four, x plus two, less than zero. So here is the graph of this thing here. The polynomial is already in factor form, and the x-intercepts are 1, negative 4, and negative 2. So we got what, negative 4, negative 2, and then 1. By inspection of the graph, the graph lies below the x-axis when x is less than 4, or when negative 2 is less than x is less than 1. So it's... Uh, by looking at that, so when x is less than 4, it's, it is below the uh, x-axis, as well as here between 1 and negative 2, it's below the x-axis, or less than 0. Okay, let's try another one. Solve the inequality, p of x equals x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 4 is greater than 0. So using the calculator to graph y equals p of x, here it is here, and find its approximate zeros. You got a zero here, you got a zero here, you got a zero there. So they come out to be, using your calculator, negative 0.814 is over here. Then 1.471 is there. And then 3.343, which is here. Observe that the graph of y equals p of x is above the x-axis. For this point, for this area here, negative uh, 0.8 and 1.47. In this area here, it's above, goes below, then it goes above again. Or x greater than 3.3, which is up here. That'd be one way to uh, find uh, or stating the uh, characteristics. And then we go into one more here. Uh, solve the inequality q of x is this here. So graphing this q of x, we have this, and factor of q equals x times x minus 2 squared. To observe that x equals 2 with a multiplicity of 2, which would put this right here, it kisses the graph there, and x equals 0, which is here. The graph kisses the x-axis, where a 0 has even multiplicity, which is here. Therefore, y equals q of x is above the x-axis of 0 is less than x, less than 2. So between here and c hmm, 0 less than x, therefore y equals q of x is above the x-axis from this whole area here, or x greater than 2. So if it kisses, or they're saying 0 is less than x, less than 2, that would be above it. It contacts as part of the x-axis here, then it is above it from here on, x being greater than 2. x greater than 2, not x is greater than or equal to 2. 
And that is your section five of your math, SAT math level two prep, animated PowerPoint math video at ALO.com. For more lessons and packets that cover uh, polynomial uh, inequalities, email me there. Thank you very much.